The life of a young girl Faye, Sophie Turner, is narrated in the beginning of the movie. She had a perfect childhood, and is now having a summer vacation with her parents. During the vacation, Faye's father, Reese Evans, starts to tremble, and receives a multiple sclerosis diagnosis. Faye then continues with her routine and returns to her school. Professor John joins them in the class and announces the selected candidates for an upcoming play called Macbeth. Faye is cast as Lady Macbeth alongside Drew, Greg Sulkin, a boy she likes. Faye's mother is having an extramarital affair, and later at night when Faye is returning to her home, she notices her mother kissing a man in a vehicle. When her mother returns home, she makes an excuse for being late due to unavailability of a bus. When Faye is in her room, she glances in the mirror and we see a reflection following her, who completely resembles Faye. The next day at school, Faye is anxious during the first practice and keeps missing her lines. Her professor John, Jonathan Rhys Myers, suggests that she draw inspiration from Roman Polanski's 1971 production of Macbeth. When Faye goes to the school library to get a copy, she is startled to notice that the lights there are flickering on and off. She hears someone chasing after her. A few moments later, her friends discover her after having heard and seen nothing. Faye starts to notice a girl walking along the street who resembles her. When she returns home, her mother informs her that she is going out with her friends for the night. However, Faye witnesses her mother leaving the house, getting into a car, and kissing a man who is not her father while a girl who resembles Faye walks up to the car. Faye is leaving for school the next day, when a neighbor tells Faye that she saw the her leaving their building by the stairs just a moment ago. Faye's neighbor asserts that she would never mistake Faye for anybody else due to her unusual long red hair while Faye denies it was her. Faye rushes to look for the girl but can't find her. She trims her hair into a crooked haircut when she gets home, in order to differentiate her resemblance from that unknown girl. Faye scares her classmates at school by claiming that she is being followed by a doppelganger, whom they speculate might be Monica, her competition and understudy, who also has long red hair. When Faye's mother picks her up from school, she confides in her fear about being stalked by a twin. Her mother then acknowledges that Faye was a twin but she had a late-term miscarriage with her sister, Layla. She takes her camera and visits a lakeside view for some photography, where she clearly sees her twin sister Layla, standing in front of her. She runs away and sobs at home. After that, Faye performs really good during the rehearsals. Following that rehearsal, Faye and Drew go on a date, where she tells him about her twin sister Layla. She sees her father on the floor when she gets home. She notices that he had been gazing at a sonogram of her and her sister as she assists him into his wheelchair. The following day at school, Faye notices John, her theater teacher, drive into the parking lot and recognizes his car as the one whose owner she saw her mother kissing. Later, when he approaches her to ask why she didn't wave back to him in the schoolyard, Faye claims she wasn't there and assumes it is the double she has been spotting. She confronts Monica in the school courtyard because she thinks she is imitating her because she has cut her hair in a way that is an exact replica of her hairdo. When Faye accuses Monica of impersonating her in the principal's office, the principal, Leonor Waddling, explains that it couldn't have been her in the schoolyard because she arrived early. In order to distinguish herself from her doppelganger, Faye begins to cut her hand with a pair of scissors, leaving a noticeable scar. She confronts her mother about the affair she is having when her mother picks her up from school, and she makes a pledge to end it. Drew pays her a visit at her home, and they kiss after having a brief conversation. Faye is satisfied for a brief period of time as her duplicate vanishes and her parents look to be getting along better. She and Drew become more intimate and have sex. However, her mother makes up with John after Faye's father receives unfavorable medical news. Faye is walking home with Drew when she notices John's car crashed into a tree. The police officer on the scene informs Faye that a girl threw a rock at John's car window, causing him to have an accident but leaving her mother unharmed. Faye thinks her twin smashed the automobile. Faye makes the decision to skip class today so she can visit John at the hospital. The following day at school, Drew thanks Faye for the post-couple photo he discovered in his locker. Faye is instructed to recite her lines at rehearsal by the principal, who is replacing John. Everyone affirms that they saw Faye there when she claims she wasn't there. Faye flees home, where she tells her father that she is crazy. He responds by telling her that he can see her twin sister Layla as well. He then reveals that when Faye's mother was pregnant, the doctors informed him that only one of the twin sisters can be saved, otherwise all three lives will be gone. Therefore, he gave doctors the permission to save one of them. He feels guilty for Layla's execution for saving Faye and her mother, but he had no other option. 
As a result of this execution, Layla is now roaming around as a ghost, calling in her debt from her father for giving permission of executing her. She is advised not to look Layla in the face, because doing so will kill her. In the nearby underpass, Faye reaches out to Layla, pleading with her to leave the family alone and offering her condolences for her passing. Faye does what Layla commands and looks at her. As she makes her way back home from the underpass, Faye notices an ambulance and discovers that her father attempted to follow her to stop her from meeting Layla but was killed when an elevator malfunctioned. She embraces her mom. Later on, Macbeth's premiere takes place. Faye's mother hugs her backstage and tells her that her father is proud of her. Faye looks into the mirror before removing the bandage from her hand to reveal that she is truly Layla and does not have the distinguishing injury Faye gave herself. As she smiles in the mirror and leaves to perform the play, the reflection of Faye is still there, frozen in the mirror.